Yeah, hello, my name is Samuel Mierbrot. I'm working for CIB and I'm presenting the LibreOffice Safe Mode. That's a new feature in the 5.3 release. Um, and first of all, what is Safe Mode and why do we need it? You may say no Safe Mode from Windows. When you have a broken driver, you start the Safe Mode to uh, fix things. It disables some drivers and some other things, or Thunderbird and Firefox have a Safe Mode which disables their add-ons and um, other stuff. And uh, yeah, we had similar, similar problems in LibreOffice. Users were reporting problems that we couldn't reproduce and often they were related to their user profile uh, containing some broken settings. There is an example of a bug report. A writer crashes on startup because uh, it fails to parse the registry modifications, which contains the um, settings the user changed. Yeah, and for users, it was uh, the only solution often was to find the folder which contained the user profile and delete it. Uh, there was no a real method to restore such a broken system, and so um, TDF published a tender last year to implement such a safe mode, and as CIB, we did that. And yeah, the goal was to um, allow the user to identify and fix issues with the user profile. Um, yeah, how do I access the safe mode? There are three options. Um, the LibreOffice has a, in the menu and a command in the help menu, restart in, in safe mode. Then you have a start menu entry in Windows, LibreOffice safe mode, and a command line option um, that should be minus minus. This is autocorrection. Made it into a long dash. Um, yeah, you can use that on uh, macOS or Linux. Yeah, what are the features? Uh, it uses a temporary uh, clean user profile and it also disables hardware acceleration like OpenGL and OpenCL um, temporarily because there were um, some users experiencing crashes experiencing crashes um, due to OpenGL on startup and when you can't start LibreOffice you also cannot fix that only by manually editing the configuration files. So this is one um, thing we made easier with that. Yeah, and when you start it um, you get a dialog which has some options to restore and reset uh, several things. I will show it later and I will show some use cases uh, what you can do with that. And also it allows to create a zip file from the user profile, uh, which helps if you want to send it to someone or upload it on the bug tracker uh, for the developers to analyze it. Yeah, okay, the first use case, LibreOffice doesn't start, what should I do? And before, uh, we told users, try deleting the folder containing your user profile. Yeah, where is that folder? It differs on different op operating systems, so they needed to find that and rename it or delete it. Um, that means all their settings are gone, all their extensions are gone, and uh, also their workbook is gone, the words they added to their um, own workbook, and yeah, stuff like that. Like that. Um, uh, another thing that could be broken is that um, it doesn't start because it, uh, OpenGL has a crash and in that case uh, the users need to put uh, some setting in the Windows registry or edit the um, configuration manually. Yeah, and now we tell them start LibreOffice in safe mode with one of the methods I mentioned and then um, you already see it will hopefully start up again, then it was a, an issue with the user profile. And then, um, yeah, you have some options to disable hardware acceleration or to um, reset certain parts of the user profile or the whole profile. Okay, another use case, I changed option XY and now LibreOffice doesn't work anymore or it works different than before. And before the solution was, yeah, delete your user profile. And now um, we can tell them, go to the safe mode and restore the last configuration backup. Um, yeah, there is a backup functionality included 
It is not yet enabled by default in 5.3, uh, but you can enable it by setting some any options. I will explain that later. Hopefully, it will be enabled for the next release. Yeah? You've got an auto save for configuration because no one I know has a configuration backup, <coughs> except in the normal system backup. Yeah, there uh, will be um, backups created when you change something. Uh, you can configure what will be included in that backup. I will explain that later. Okay, the next use case, I broke everything. I want to reset LibreOffice to factory settings. Before uh, the solution was delete your user profile with the same problem, where is it? Now uh, they can go to safe mode and select reset entire user profile. And the next use case, uh, my extensions my extension don't work or my extensions does no, don't work anymore. Okay, it's right. Or they are breaking things. Um, before you could uh, go to the extension manager and disable or remove them one by one. That's fine. Uh, now you can um, uh, disable or reset them with one click or even remove them, the user extensions at least. Um, there are three types of extensions bundled, uh, the extensions we deliver with LibreOffice. Then you can install them shared for all users. And for these two types, uh, you can only disable them. And for your own extensions, which are only for the current user, you can remove them. OK, another use case. Um, I was requested to send my user profile to some bug tracker or some support, sy support system. Uh, where do I find it? And before, we had a nice wiki page with instructions. On Windows, it's, it is in app data, LibreOffice for user. And Linux, it is in the home directory, .config LibreOffice for user, etc. Um, and now you can um, find that folder by going to the safe mode. Then there is an advanced section. Uh, there you can, can either uh, click a button to show the user profile folder or directly uh, create a zip file out of it and yeah, do whatever you want with that zip file. Okay, uh, that's the part of the configuration for the backups. Um, yeah, there are various any properties um, and the default values are what is um, given here. Default means in current master, hopefully uh, 5.4. Uh, so secure user config means uh, it, the backup is enabled. Um, yeah, false means it's disabled, it's clear. Then secure user config compress is whether it will be compressed or not. Um, number of copies, the next uh, item is how many copies are kept, the default is two. And then there is a num an item secure user config mode. Um, there are three numbers you can give, 0, 1, and 2. 0 means it backups only the registry modifications, um, Yeah, like the changes you did to the settings. Then 1 is the default. Um, it also backups auto-correction, auto-text, basic scripts, configurations, uh, databases, registry scripts, templates, and the workbook. Um, yeah, we excluded certain parts like the gallery because that might become too big. And two means the whole user profile, whatever is in there, because extensions can also put content there. Maybe you want to back up that too. Uh, secure user config extensions um, is the feature that um, remembers the last state um, of extensions that worked. So if you install a new extension and uh, LibreOffice doesn't work afterwards, you can restore the last uh, working state of the extensions, meaning that extension will be disabled at the next start. OK, uh, how to customize the default values? Uh, the these values are defined in the installation directory program sOffice.ini or sOffice RC on Linux. Don't know what is in macOS. Um, then you can use the minus uh, env command line param parameter 
to um, give each of these options a different value or a normal environment variable. Okay, now the demo. Okay, so um, I just start by customizing my toolbar and somehow I managed to remove all the icons there. Yeah, and now I have, uh, I'm missing very lots of icons from my toolbar. Um, then I can uh, go to restart in safe mode, restart. It's giving some Java warnings because Java isn't configured anymore. And then I get this dialog. Um, uh, yeah, I can restore the last known working configuration from the backup. Configure is, um, can disable all user extensions. I don't have an extension, so it's disabled. Uh, or disable hardware uh, acceleration. Um, extensions can deinstall, uninstall all user extensions or is that the state of shared extensions or of bundled extensions? Um, I mentioned all of that, what it means. Or I can reset to factory settings. Um, there is an option, reset settings and user interface modifications. Uh, that might be helpful for such a case as now. Uh, it resets toolbar customizations, menu bar customization, and also everything you change in tools options. You might want to do that if uh, a new release contains an updated menu bar or an updated toolbar. Um, if you customized it before, you won't get the update. So you can reset it here. Um, yeah, or in my case, I could restore the toolbar as it was before. Apply <coughs> changes and restart. And there it is as it used to be. Okay, now once again, in safe mode, I can use the start menu entry to show that. There it is, LibreOffice safe mode. Um, yeah. Or no safe mode. Try again. Okay, we found a bug. Um, okay, so there's the advanced section. Um, says if you experience problems that cannot be resolved by using the safe most, you can get help. That leads to the LibreOffice site where you can report a bug or whatever, or um, has links to forums. And then there is uh, show user profile, which opens the folder with the user profile. Um, the folder safe mode contains the backed up user profile. Um, yeah, because this is the clean user profile now. And then there is create zip archive from user profile. And then you can, you have it there. Yeah, that was the LibreOffice safe mode. Are there any questions? Um, yeah? Why, why did this Java one pop up when you restart it in the safe mode? Uh, because there is no Java configuration anymore. Yeah, but what, um, so you have a bundled extension or something that... Uh, I might have something that uses Java. Because normally you wouldn't need... If, if you disable, for example, your, your, your own extensions in safe mode, then there wouldn't be any need, except if you have some, some bundled extensions that you want to have. So yeah, probably I have something that requires Java. I was flashing that um, start... And, uh, splash screen that shows some lines of it, doing something with extension, so you probably have lots of yeah. extensions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The default is uh, your eyes um, backup is to add a database uh, using this backup system, right? Yeah. And I would be afraid of a large database. How about the calculation of size in, in order to uh, get confirmation <laughs> from the user if it exceeds some value or if the uh, 
this occupation goes below 10%, I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, one reason why, is, why it is only enabled in master. We have some time fra frame until the 5.4 uh, release to hopefully find those uh, corner cases. Um, databases, I don't really know what it contains, but it doesn't contain your base databases because you save them somewhere, wherever you want. They are not by default saved in the user profile, as far as I know. Okay. It just contains configuration stuff and it's all uh, uh, zip compressed, so um, when, I, when I tested that stuff, you might have about four backups which have them the same size as the user profile, <coughs> and usually you have just one backup. So it's one, one fourth to one third of uh, the user configuration. Pretty small. Uh, no danger from this side. It was just uh, the data You always yeah. have danger that the uh, uh, hard disk may be full with a pin or whatever. What happens in case of the uh, disk is full? Normally, people go to the supermarket and get the computer. Morning. Okay, my time is over. Uh, yeah. okay. um, so I, I was wondering, um, normally when you edit a document and you make a mistake, you have an undo button and it has a nice label saying uh, what the changes that you would like to revert. Uh, the dialogues you just showed for an average user, I think look very scary. And if it just had a label undo the removal of the icons, I think that would be more user friendly. I mean, in, a user is quite panicky in a situation like this, right? And he has to go to save mode. So any type of scary dialogue might discomfort, discomfort them more. Mm. Do you think it's feasible to have nice labels like with undo for what you are going to reset? Hmm. Yeah, one could list the configuration options. They usually have labels. Um, Still scary. Yeah, it won't be so nice like undo, but maybe there is some room for improvement. Yeah, good idea. Okay, thank you.